Hey, hey guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet, and we have a do-it-yourself tutorial on sensory bottles. You're going to need a few supplies for this. You're obviously going to need something to put your sensory bottle materials in. These are Voss drinking bottles, and I like these because they're nice and tall and clear. I found these at Target, and there's a pack of six. You can also get different brands that you'd like. You're going to need some distilled water. Some glycerin drops, I found this in the Wilson Cake Supply section, and you're going to need some super glue to seal your bottles with. You're also going to need some materials to put inside of the bottles, so some things that you might have around the house or some things you can find at the dollar store would be really colorful pipe cleaners, some really sparkly glitter, uh, maybe you have some pony beads lying around or some extra materials from other projects that you've done. Just make sure that the materials are small enough to fit inside the mouth of the bottle. It's another reason why I like the Voss bottles because they have a wider mouth than most other drinking bottles. So let's get started. First you're going to prep your bottles. Um, empty the water out and rinse them and wash them if you'd like. And then you're going to need to take off the labels. So most of my labels have been taken off already, as you can see. Uh, the Voss are nice because you just peel off the sticker on the front and back so that you can have a nice clean bottle edge like this. So the fun part is choosing your materials to put inside. Uh, these are some pony beads in different colors that I found at Walmart. And you basically want to put them in before you fill up with water. Okay, you can fill up about maybe halfway, it's just to your liking. Another thing is you can decide to not put water inside of these and just keep them as a shaker instead, which provides a different sensory experience with the noise that it makes. Okay, so now I have my bottles filled with all of my materials and it's time to add in the water. I'm actually not going to add water to two of these bottles and I'll show you why in a little bit, but I'm going to do the rest with a funnel for these four. Alright, so I did the water filling off camera just because it was a little bit easier. And the next step is to add the glycerin drops. Now the glycerin drops help to make sure that your um, glitter doesn't stick. It kind of thickens up the water a little bit. And all you need is a few drops per bottle. So I'm just going to put a little bit in each bottle. It's really thick stuff. And I fill my bottles up right at the base of the neck of the bottle. And then the last step is to glue your lids on. You can use a super glue or hot glue. I just have this on hand and so it's what I'm going to use. And you're just going to put it on the rim so you can seal your cap on. All right, and we're done. We have our lids on, and now we have a set of six sensory bottles. And I'll show you each one of what I did, so you can get some ideas too. This one is filled with water and has the pony beads in it. And um, I chose kind of like an iridescent pony bead. So you can see that this one has no glitter in it, and the beads move around. This one um, has a lot of fuchsia glitter. I think I used like a whole vial but also has these little blocks inside and the blocks are from the dollar store, they're little beads and they have letters on them and so I thought I could play kind of like a seek and find, can you find the letter A, find the letter B, It's a ton of glitter in there. Get that glycerin work and shake it up a little bit. And then this one has silver glitter stars, confetti stars. And then you can't tell maybe in the camera, but there's little, um, those ice cubes that you put into drinks that are made from, I guess, plastic. I got those at Walmart as well. They're in the shape of stars and there's blue and purple and pink in there. And so that's why I chose the, um, silver star glitter. This one is just filled with water and inside there are pebble stones from the Dollar Tree. There's green pebble stones and white pebble stones. This one is not filled with water and it just has that um, packaging of shreds that you put inside a gift wrap, which was red. I just thought it was pretty because when you turn it, you can see the iridescence on the shreds itself. 
And then my last one, these are pipe cleaners cut up, and I didn't put water in this one either. I'm going to use this magnetic, I guess a magnetic wand I got from Lakeshore Learning. It's only $2.29. And let me open it up here for you. It's really great because pipe cleaners have that little piece of metal inside of them. And so you can use this magnetic wand against the bottle to move the pipe cleaners around like this. See how they're kind of following the magnet. I think my three-year-old's going to like this one. How they kind of jump around. All right. So um, if you use the Voss water bottles, what's great is you still have a container to put all of your sensory bottles in. And you can even decorate this box if you want. Have them color it, cover it with some wrapping paper or some paper, and you have a little caddy to hold all of your sensory bottles. All right, guys, so that's it. This is how to make your own do-it-yourself sensory bottles using materials around the house or things you find at the dollar store. If you want to see more videos like this and how-tos, make sure to hit subscribe so you can be the first to see, and make sure to like our video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.